Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, a crazy Tesla flying car is coming. Boeing completes $10.5 billion sale of digital aero assets, including Jepson and ForeFlight. Pratt & Whitney engine issues cripple the global A220 fleet. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Talon Lee. Let's get into today's stories. A crazy Tesla flying car is coming. Elon Musk is once again promising the impossible, this time in the form of a Tesla that flies. Speaking on the Joe Rogan experience, Musk said the company is, quote, getting close to demonstrating a prototype of what he dubbed, quote, crazy, crazy technology. The comment came during a discussion about the long-delayed Tesla Roadster, a model first unveiled in 2017 and postponed every year since its planned 2020 debut. According to Musk, the new car, quote, has a shot at being the most memorable product unveil ever, end quote. Little specifics were revealed, however. When asked whether it would actually fly, Musk only said Rogan would need to wait and see. He added that his inspiration partly came from venture capitalist Peter Thiel's remark that, quote, the future was supposed to have flying cars. The so-called flying capability appears linked to the long-rumored SpaceX package that Musk discussed years ago, involving cold air thrusters for added acceleration and downforce. Tesla has since filed a patent for a fan-based system designed to create vacuum effects under the vehicle, theoretically allowing brief hovering or enhanced cornering. Still, a true flying car that fits the road-legal vehicle capable of sustained flight definition isn't likely to emerge from Tesla's prototype. Even Musk admits the unveiling could be, quote, unforgettable, whether it's good or bad, end quote. After the break, Affordable Flying Expo 2025. Get your tickets while you can. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The SureWings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit SureWings.com and BDAviation.com for more detail. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Affordable Flying Expo 2025. Get your tickets while you can. With under 24 hours to go, it's time to get serious. We are on site now at AFE 2025 and things are looking good. Thanks to the folks at Sun and Fun, we have a highly professional online ticketing system at our disposal for this week's Affordable Flying Expo. And we have other good news. You can use the code AFE2025 to get $5 off the adult ticket price of $15 or even more for a three-day pass. Go to affordableflying.net slash attend and click the purchase tickets icon. We'll see you in Lakeland November 6th, 7th, and 8th. LA County Fire Department International SIR Unit to support Jamaica Recovery. The Los Angeles County Fire Department's International Search and Rescue Team, USA2, was slated to depart for Jamaica on October 30th on a charter flight with 34 team members, four canine assistants, and 42,000 pounds of support equipment. There, they will assist with search, rescue, and recovery, as well as initial medical care and stabilization for people who they locate trapped under rubble or collapsed structures. The USA-2 team will be joined by the USA-1 team out of the Fairfax County, Virginia Fire Department. First electric aircraft lands at Boeing Field Airport. Beta Technologies announced that its Alia Seatoll aircraft has made the first ever landing of an all-electric aircraft at the Boeing Field King County International Airport in Seattle. Beta makes two models of its Alia aircraft. One is an EVTOL configuration for vertical takeoffs and landings, while the other is a CTOL, or conventional takeoff and landing, like other fixed-wing airplanes people are familiar with. David Decoto, Deputy Airport Director, said the airport wants to make itself a leader in electric aircraft. 
Transport Canada certifies Diamond DA-50RG. Diamond Aircraft announced that its flagship DA-50RG single-engine piston aircraft with retractable gear has received type certification from Transport Canada. This signifies another notable achievement in the company's history of innovation as it expands the aircraft's global regulatory approval and enables immediate deliveries to customers in Canada. The DA-50RG previously secured certification from IASA in 2020 and from the FAA in 2023. That's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Boeing completes $10.5 billion sale of digital aero assets, including Jepson and ForeFlight. Boeing announced the completion of the $10.55 billion sale of assets from its digital aviation solutions business unit to private equity firm Tama Bravo. The divestiture includes Jepson, ForeFlight, Air Data, and Oz Runways, and those businesses will operate as the standalone company Jepson ForeFlight. Jepson ForeFlight will be led by Brad Serac, former head of Boeing Digital Aviation Solutions, and will have headquarters in Denver and San Francisco. Serac said, quote, backed by 90 years of Jepson's gold standard data and ForeFlight's relentless spirit of exploration, this combination is building the most unified, intuitive platform in aviation. As we return to independence alongside a leader in software private equity investing, we're enabled to move faster, think bigger, and innovate, end quote. The deal was all cash and transfers some of Boeing's most recognizable software and data units to Tama Bravo, which manages over $181 billion in assets. Boeing said in April 2025 when the deal was announced that the divestiture will bolster its balance sheet, reduce debt, and enable the company to focus on its core manufacturing and services operations. Boeing will retain digital services related to fleet maintenance, diagnostics, and repair for its commercial and defense customers. They will stay under Boeing Global Services, with President and CEO Chris Raymond at the helm. After these messages, Pratt & Whitney engine issues cripple the Global A220 fleet. It's time to upgrade your power plant to the first FAA certified clean sheet engine design in over 60 years. Delta Hawk's jet fuel powered liquid cooled turbocharged engine produces turbine performance at 40% better fuel efficiency of typical reciprocating engines, while also achieving exceptional reliability and significant reduction in cost of ownership. Reserve your engine package today at deltahawk.com. Welcome back. Pratt & Whitney engine issues cripple the global A220 fleet. The A220, once marketed for its profitability and efficiency, seems to be spending a lot more time parked than planned, and operators are starting to lose patience. Nearly 20% of the global fleet is grounded due to ongoing issues with Pratt & Whitney's PW1500G geared turbofan engines. The problem is that the PW1500Gs are wearing out much faster than they should due to contamination and corrosion in the metal used during manufacturing, or in simpler terms, they need more maintenance. That means airlines need spare engines that do not currently exist to keep planes flying while the bad ones are repaired. This leaves the aircraft grounded as parts pile up and operators scramble to fill schedules with whatever can still move. Pratt & Whitney has promised for years that the issue is under control, but every new grounding makes that promise sound a little thinner. As of November, data shows 76 of 451 A220s worldwide sitting idle. Swiss is grounding its 9-jet A220-100 fleet just to scavenge engines for its larger 300 models. Delta, Air France, Air Baltic, and JetBlue have also seen multiple aircraft sidelined, and smaller operators like Air Austral and Bulgaria Air have taken heavier hits relative to their fleet size. The ripple effect extends far beyond maintenance hangars. Airlines are losing revenue, passengers are losing confidence, and Airbus is finally beginning to notice. 
And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.